Welcome back, part two. Uh, going to add color now to the kits. So, Fiorentina, you got this purple. Um, don't have my glasses. Royal purple. So, I've had a wee test with it, and some photos it looks like it might need a lightened up, and then some photos it, it looks fine dark. So, I'm going to just keep it dark if you need to. Uh, add a bit of white to it, so keep it simple. Um, brushes for the bigger area. So we have our our wee small figure, our wee primed and skin tone added. So what I'm going to do is get the purple as close to the edges as I can with a a ten zero brush. I always clean them as I'm going along. So. Get as close to the shorts, close to the socks, the knee, and the arms, and the round the neck, and then come with your twenty zero brush. I have two of them. This one with the wee yellow markers on its way out, so it doesn't hold as much paint, but it's a bit better for rough stuff. This is my more precision detail brush, twenty zero. Get them from Jackson Art online. I uh, think that there is about, they're called the Da Vinci, that there is about £9 and then my postage it costs about £12 I could post. So I use two of them, 20 zeros, and you'll know when they're starting to go, they're not, they don't hold the paint as much when you want good detail. Um, and then a 10 zero is a wee bit heavier, it's a wee bit gets the, the paint on a wee bit thicker. So what I'm going to do is run through these now and get the purple one. And I'll come back and show you more. All right. All right. So just finished um, adding the kit color to the team. Um, like I said before, 11 figures and a goalkeeper. Now, I haven't done the goalkeeper specifically because I try to use the same colour the whole way through. So if I'm using purple, that's all I'm using. Um, and then the same thing when I am when I start adding the detail to the purple kit, it's white. So I'll just only use white. So anything that's white, I'll start using it. The keeper's got a green and black kit, so I'll use him at the end. Um... A lot of the players, most of that whole team's got black boots, so that's another. When you're using black, you do all the boots, her colours, get anybody with black hair, get them all their black hair and stuff. So, skin colour will be added now on the second coat of their skin colour. Now that I've done two coats of purple on their kit, I'll show you the photo. The photos will follow this. Um, but if there's purple, I have got purple on their legs, some of their arms, in places, it happens. Don't panic about it. So what do you do is come back with a drop of white, hit it with a wee drop of white, and then apply this the flesh colour again. You'll need two coats of flesh again. Um but that's just basic quick. Don't worry about making mistakes. It's fucking it's so easy just to make a mistake and it's so easy to fix it. Drop of white, always have a wee bit of white in your tray. For mistakes, you can do it as you go along. You make a mistake, you can clean your brush or use one of your other brushes, stick a dab of white on, move on, and then come back and do your, your fixes. So, don't panic. Um, after this stage now that I've showed you these photos, is it's all purple. So, it's detail now. So, this is where the, the process gets really slow. What I tend to do is start with one thing like Fiorentina has a big band on the arm big white band on the arm and then all the stripes so I'll do all that the whole way through the kit and then do the whole the whole 11 players and then come back and do all their badges all their sponsors Fiorentina has Nintendo as a sponsor so what happens there is very unlikely you're going to fit the whole word in, Nintendo in plus a white bar across the chest plus a red band around the actual white and then Nintendo in the middle so what would you do there is 
if your customer or you're happy enough not to put Nintendo in, don't put it in. Or put a suggestion in. So big N and then a couple of wee small dashes for the letters. Make it look like Nintendo. So that's what I would do. If the, if the writing's too big, that's the best thing to do. If you're happy that the kit looks like Fiorentina without putting Nintendo sponsor on it, don't put the sponsor on it. I prefer teams without sponsors. Um, this is my Liverpool team. I'll show you these when I turn this camera around now. But I done a Liverpool away team without a sponsor because standard chartered on the front of a kit just looks terrible. I'll put the home kit up as well because I'm actually in the middle of doing them. And I don't think the sponsor looks great. It's too big. You'll never fit it all in. And sometimes you can try and fit it in. It'll look really messy. Which is not what you want to do. So, again, it's up to yourself. If you need to sponsor in, or if you're a customer, or if you're selling these to people, and your customer wants to sponsor their a suggestion of the sponsor. So it looks like it from a distance. People lift it, or they're not going to get really into it. I have a magnifying glass, which tells me it doesn't look like the sponsor, but from a distance, and you're playing with them, and people lift them off a table and look at them, they'll look class. So, I'll just show you works but I'll put the photos up obviously so that's Liverpool home Liverpool away you can't really notice the away because the uh, black kit and this light but I'll take a photo and let you see it so no sponsor I think the sponsor looks better without the sponsor it looks better but people want to see a sponsor if they're banned so let's say it's away Fiorentina that's your 11 and your keeper. Keeper I'm not going to do to when I'm using colours that match the keeper. So he's out of frame for now. So it's all the purple guys. Try to split them with half and half. Long sleeves, short sleeves. And then I always put a wee guy in with a socks rolled down. Which I just think is class. Put a wee bit of shin guard showing across the top. Just makes it all a wee bit different. Again, start adding hairstyles. Use this stuff here, potty. You buy at knee models. Um, it's like three or four pound. And you can put the hairstyles in. You will get the nerds that will tell you that hairstyles aren't allowed for Subudio because it makes them bigger and it gives you an advantage for defending. Don't listen to people like that because they're nerds for a reason. It's about a bit of fun. It's a hairstyle. It's not going to stop you scoring a goal in the top corner because you're going to knock a player over regardless if he has a big hairstyle or not. So, I don't think I um, have a couple of people with hairstyles in this Liverpool team. Mo Salah more. Where is Mo? If I find Mo Salah. There he is, number 11. Mo Salah. Big wig. It's not going to stop you scoring a goal, is it? I don't know where he is in the other team. I can't really see over there what's, where Mo is. But let's be honest. A hairstyle is not going to make a difference in you scoring a goal. So that's it for that video. Um, oops. Part three coming next. So part three's detail, big detail. Um, see how we get on then. Any questions, stick them down and I'll try and answer them on YouTube. Reply to you. Uh, I'm not expecting loads of questions. I'm not expecting loads of views. Uh, if I can help somebody along the way. Paint their own team. I'm happy enough. That's all I want to do. Make things easy for you. It's locked down. Paint your own team. There's nothing more rewarding than painting your own team, honestly. Playing them and using them in a competition, using them in a match when this is all over. You'll love it more when it's your own work. People will lift your work and look at it and say, Jesus, that's amazing. That's all you want. So, try it. Order your figures. Order your bases. Get your paints. Get the basic colours. Get a wee team done. Get them started. 
follow me if you have to follow me and get some tips. And then when it gets to detail, that's where it's sort of start learning me hints and tips and easy ways of doing things but at the minute we're at the basics with the kit that Neil now the main colors skin tones now we're on the detail so best of luck stay safe and chat these whenever I put the next one up so good night